Hi friends, today I want to share more about how freelance copywriting changed my life. So this isn't really about me, it's about you. For those of you who are where I was a few years ago, thinking of leaving corporate America, wanting to, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to make money, so scared to make the leap. I mean, I have been there, <laughs> I've been there in so many ways. And freelance copywriting in the matter of a few short years, or honestly even shorter than that once I went full in, drastically changed my life. It changed the amount of money that I could make, it changed the amount of places I could go see and memories that I could have and the kinds of those memories I could make. Um, it changed the kind of work I was able to do and the days I was able to have. It enabled me to be my own boss and to structure my days in whatever way I dreamed. Um, and so, you know, I just wanna kind of dive deeper into what really changed when I became a freelance copywriter. So for those of you who don't know, the short version is I run a content marketing agency. Um, I am a trained journalist. I've, you know, contributed to HuffPost. And, um, and for years and years, I was in corporate America hiring freelance copywriters and on that side of things. And I started to just feel like I craved more, like I wanted to be my own boss, I wanted to see the world, I just thought there had to be more than like the 40 hour a week or more like emails and meetings and politics and like what was I working so hard for the promotions for. And so I dove into uh, coaching kind of in the wellness industry because that's just another passion of mine. Um, and long story short, it was like a very expensive winding route to eventually realize that what I was doing on the side to make money, freelance copywriting, was actually like the path for me, was actually the thing that gave me everything that I was trying so hard to get through this other way. And so I want to share four ways that it really drastically like changed my life. Um, I would say number one is the ability to work from anywhere. So as a copywriter, I mean, as someone who's been my own boss, I've been able to go to Europe to work from Amsterdam and Barcelona and Switzerland and the south of France. And it's just been amazing. And even like South America, like it doesn't even have to be Europe, right? Like it can be anywhere. Like I've been to Cusco and um, Lima, Peru and Colombia and Rio and Argentina and worked from all those places. And I've been able to get my work in on time. I've been able to get it in ahead of schedule <laughs> and really craft my own day where I can work during the day and then go experience the culture at night, maybe go to dinner or on the weekends, take more of a tour. Once I took Wednesday off and went to the Alps one day, which is one of my favorite memories like to this day. Um, it, and so for me, as someone who just like loves travel and loves seeing the world, that was everything to me to have that in my life. Whereas I, you know, before spent the majority of my time either in an office or even when I could telecommute and I could work a few days from home, I felt very limited by a few vacation weeks a year um, by always still having to be on in some regard for that company, um, for still having to work like the nine to five hours, right, on their schedule. Nothing wrong with that. It was just like, I just wondered if there was another way <laughs> that I could do this and still earn a good living. And it turns out that there, there was, and it was freelance copywriting. Um, because once I was able to do that, I really could work from anywhere. Um, and I could do like I could go for months at a time and they weren't worried about me being in for one special meeting or being on for like the eight to five or nine to five day. So that was kind of the one biggest thing that I think has given me just so many adventures in my life, so many funny stories, so many just, I love, you know, trying the food and seeing the culture and places and I have so, such a big list of places to see. So that was really big for me. On that same similar note that I touched on is like the spaciousness in the day. So I spent years and years like commuting 45 minutes or an hour, sometimes an hour and a half depending on traffic, like each way into offices. Um, and, and then you'd work like a nine hour day. I would work usually through lunch, like go get something quick and just work at my desk um, and then get home and be exhausted, right? And have it be six or 7 p.m. and make a healthy dinner and muster up the energy to go to the gym if I could at that point. And it just was such a 
slog, <laughs> right? Like it was such a slog for something that I wasn't super passionate about. So I really feel like I'm, I'm a hard worker. Like there, I think there's value in hard work. If you're making enough money that makes it worth it for you or you're doing a cause that you're passionate about, um, that obviously like there's work a full day, right? Like work beyond a full day and I certainly have for my businesses. But when it was for something else and someone else, um, in an industry that I wasn't as passionate about, that was kind of a, a hard thing for me to like look at my life for 50 years and think about doing that, right? Over and over again. And I was always the person that like, if you told me what it would take to get a promotion, like I would do that. Like I'll, you want me available at night? You want me available on the weekends? You want me, like whenever? I'll do it. Um, I'll do what it takes. But I kind of just started to feel like, why am I working like this hard just to get the next promotion, just to get more responsibility, just to get more emails, more commitments. And so I really think with co freelance copywriting, all of a sudden I was my own boss where I could work whenever I wanted to, right? And like I could still work a full day, but if I wanted to go have a half hour lunch, if I wanted to go take a yoga class in the middle of the day, if I wanted to sleep in in one morning and then work the rest of the day, if I wanted to work really hard on the weekend and have a few days off during the week or I wanted to work in the morning and go sightsee in the afternoon, just the freedom to be able to do that and to define when I wanted to work and where I wanted to do it, to me, it just gave me more health. It gave me more balance in my life. Like it brought down my stress, even if I was working a full workload when because I wanted to, I just, the ability to have that freedom and that spaciousness for me was like huge, um, was really, really healing for me. And um, the thing about copywriting is like, as your rate goes up, right? Like as you get better at it, as you're able to demonstrate your value more, as you understand more of the strategy, um, as you book out with more clients, you can charge higher and higher rates. So you can charge $50 an hour, $75 an hour, $100 an hour. And if you're gonna work a 40 hour work week at $50 an hour, that's $100,000 that year. That is a six figure year. So as you start to charge more, you can either work less and have that freedom in your day, or you can work the same amount, but you make more so you can have more experiences and, and more enriching experiences in your free time, right? So you can really just create your day and it's like, whatever is important to you, you might not be a travel person that maybe for you, you have a family and you have three kids that you wanna spend afternoons with or take to Disneyland for a few days or something like, take the, the afternoon off and go to the park, like that, it, you get to decide, like you get to own your own destiny. And I think that is like, to me, that's like priceless. Like that's like so golden. Um, another way that it really changed my life was it gave me the confidence that I could make money at any time. Like it, it gave me financial security in that sense because when I was doing more of the wellness coaching business, I mean, it, it was kind of a crapshoot. Like it was kind of like, I never really locked into exactly when the clients would come, right? Like eventually the more successful I got after a few years, like I started to just find clients that might come through a referral or maybe they followed me on social media for a long time or had seen my blog somehow on Pinterest, but it wasn't like, this reliable system for me. And so that to me kind of created a lot of unease because I would have great months sometimes and then I would have months where I made $150 total the other times and that's not a great feeling to be like pulling into savings or needing to take on business debt or whatever um, to build this business. And so it really kind of, it shook my confidence and kind of created some issues of scarcity there for a little while until I found this freelance copywriting and realized, oh, okay, like I don't need to spend months or years like building this reputation as a coach and as someone in this industry. If I have solid work samples, if I know where to find clients and I know how to pitch myself, all those things, which I do know and I can teach you as well if you want, <clears throat> I can get clients anytime now, you know, within days. And so for me, that really started to rebuild that confidence there where um, I, the only person that I ever needed was myself, my experience, um, my own confidence in my skills and the brands are out there. Like there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions of businesses and they, you know, or more, I don't know, are there probably billions, right? Like, but the point is they all need copy and they know it. 
They all know that they need copy to, on social media, on blogs, on emails, on case studies, and their website. And so for me, like it wasn't an issue of going and finding these clients. It was really just filling the gap and the need that they already knew that they had. And so to me, like that was an amazing feeling. Like I wasn't necessarily ever having to convince anyone to take on a service or a product. I was just going out there and raising my hand when all the people out there saying, hey, we need copywriters. Like I was just like, okay, here I am. And then from there, again, if you're making $100 an hour or 75 or 50, you're very quickly able to pocket a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars every single week. And talk about security, talk about independence, talk about confidence in that ability. Um, and talk about impact too. Like once you're able to make that kind of money, you're able to take care of yourself better, your family better, your community. Um, it's, it's just like your health, like it's all around such a much better situation. And then the last piece that kind of relates to that, I would say is like the part that changed um, a lot as well is just that level of like, like abundance, right? Like, because if you say you make $100 an hour, you've been at it a while, like you have great clients, you've been charging more, you know how to position yourself, you um, know how to charge those premium rates and you make $100 an hour, all of a sudden that's almost a thousand dollars a day that's almost four thousand or five thousand dollars a week right that's almost twenty thousand dollars a month and so all of a sudden the world is really your oyster in terms of you can have pretty much every experience you want to have if you want to travel if you want to give back to your community if you want to tip really well if you want to do like a holiday drive for people like if you want to send your kids to a good school or you want to go to the expensive soul cycle class not, not that it's expensive right it's all relative i'm not trying to like throw shade at soul cycle um but if you want to do the 40 dollar exercise class like it, your whole life changes um and i personally believe that good people do really good things with money and so the more money good people have the more good things that they can do and so i just think that like that level of coming into that abundance and level of impact that you can make um when you're able to pour your heart and your finances into the places that you see the most need and the most memories the most experiences it just enriches your life and everyone around you and so those are really some ways that for me like i never take for granted it's the ability to work from anywhere it's the spaciousness i have in my day like with no back-to-back -back meetings but i just need my my laptop and my wi-fi connection and i can write and be good um, it's the confidence and security knowing that I can always make money like right away, that I can always get clients, that I can take care of myself in that way. Um, and then like the abundance of just like what that kind of money means for you and that you can always scale up and scale up and scale up. Like as soon as you are booked with clients, the next ones that come on, you have more experience, you are already full, so you can just charge more and more um, because you're worth more and they recognize that, right? Like you have done the work, you've positioned yourself that way, you have more and more of a lens of strategy and more of a lens of how to edit and how to write and so brands are so happy to have that kind of a partner and to pay for it um, versus all the masses who may still be like, um, you know, charging starting rates or in that starting part of their career. So for me, like, those are all the ways that I can think of that it's, you know, some of the ways, honestly, that it's changed my life. Um, I'd love to know for you, like if you do copywriting, what would be one of your ways? Um, if you are in corporate America, like what kind of way do you want your life to change most once you become your own boss, whether it's through this or something else? Um, just drop me a comment below. And if you are interested in what it might look like step by step to go from corporate America or a job to making six figures as a copywriter um, per year, um, then I'll drop some information. I'll drop a link in the description and you can check that out and reach out if you have questions. But otherwise, I hope this is like encouraging to you and inspiring that your life can change in 90 days, that you can get clients right away, that you can have a whole different future. And for some, it may be like freelance copywriting. For you, it may look like something else, but kind of let me know where you're at and if you had any surprises in this. Thanks for watching.